The following presentation is provided by the Computer History Archives Project. Founded in 1886 as the American Arithmometer Company, Burroughs was a major U.S. manufacturer of adding machines, calculators, and office equipment. Known as Burroughs Adding Machine Company by 1905, it changed its name to Burroughs Corporation in 1953. In June 1956, Burroughs acquired Electro Data Corporation, makers of the Datatron 205 computer. Renamed the Electro Data Division of Burroughs, it became the core of its highly successful computer manufacturing business. In 1986, Burroughs acquired Sperry Corporation in a $4.8 billion transaction. After a naming contest in which 31,000 suggested names were submitted, the combined entity was named Unisys, which stood for United Information Systems. Sperry brought with it a long and successful history of computer systems development, including roots back to the designers of the giant ENIAC computer of 1946, as well as the valuable skills of Engineering Research Associates, ERA, and Remington Rand UNIVAC personnel. Burroughs also brought with it an extensive history, giving the combined company a uniquely broad variety of technical skills and expertise, supporting government, military, and private sectors. This diagram shows many of the predecessor companies in the Unisys family tree, stretching back over 140 years. The following film from 1963 shows the Electro Data Division in Pasadena, California, and many of the computer products available at the time. Today, the Burroughs name is owned by Unisys, and this film is used with permission. Nineteen sixty three. Across the nation, the Big B signals action and progress. Burroughs Electro Data Division, Pasadena, California. Visitors to this modern plant find the company's newest and finest data processing systems impressively displayed in two new exhibit rooms. This B five thousand was designed so that its electronic hardware works in perfect coordination with recently developed computer programming languages. This unique working blend of electronic hardware and language software results in extremely efficient operation, a strong advantage for the B-5000. Visitors to the computer facility can observe computer operations from either side of this glass-walled briefing room. This B200 data processing system is finding wide acceptance in banks, retail stores and chains, and in other fields where low cost and high productivity are important factors. Both the B5000 and the B200 at Pasadena are used for demonstrating and for checking out computer programs written by Burroughs customers. B200 and B5000 components being manufactured at Electro Data are continuously checked to ensure that they meet or exceed design specifications. The latest manufacturing techniques and devices are used to boost production efficiency and to ensure accuracy in assembly. This automatic wire wrap machine, one of several at Electro Data, feeds and attaches thousands of interweaving wires in the construction of computer backplane circuits. In this automatic flow solder process, Plug-in modules move along a conveyor and through a flowing bath of molten solder. This process is fast, accurate, and eliminates many problems inherent in older soldering techniques. This B200 processor utilizes plug-in modules and automatically wired backplane circuits. 
The Burroughs disk file was announced April 25th, and components are undergoing exhaustive tests at Electrodata. The disk file can provide up to 960 million characters of auxiliary memory for a B5000. Data is available in 1 50th of a second. What comes down the production line must go out. After complete testing and checkout, Burroughs will be installing approximately one system for every working day this year. The first B-5000 to come off the production line is on its way to NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Destination of this first production line B-5000 is Huntsville, Alabama, and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Within a few days, the B-5000 is installed in the computation division. The system will be used to analyze scientific data gathered during static and live firings of space vehicles. Information collected during these firings will be fed into the B-5000, and the system will reduce this data to a form usable by engineers and scientists. At the same time that NASA's B-5000 was being delivered, another million-dollar B-5000 was on its way to the United Technology Center at Sunnyvale, California. The center is currently developing this country's workhorse rocket booster for the big U.S. spacecraft of the mid-1960s. United Technology has computing requirements that range from scientific analyses of heat transfer and material design characteristics to such routine tasks as payroll, accounting, and other business data processing operations. B-200 deliveries are continuing at a rapid pace. The Community National Bank in Pontiac, Michigan, has just installed a B-270 financial data processing system in its new computer center adjoining the main building. The B-270 will control the daily interchange of nearly 40,000 checks between Community National and hundreds of banking offices across the country. The computer will also control record keeping for Community National and attack a massive check collection and redistribution job called Transit, which is the most burdensome and repetitive chore in the bank. A B-280 computer system has just been installed at Citizens Gas and Coke in Indianapolis, Indiana. Citizens is a city-owned utility that supplies gas to thousands of customers in Indianapolis. The B-280 is presently handling three data processing chores. These include repair and maintenance billing, payroll for Citizens employees, and cycle billing for Citizens 185,000 customers. Customer bills are prepared two at a time, almost faster than the eye can follow. Each bill contains complete information in easy to read form. The B-280 is already cutting costs for Citizens Gas and Coke by $40,000 a year 
with further economies to come as the computer is assigned additional data processing tasks. Citizens Gas and Coke is the nation's first utility business to convert to this high-powered electronic computer system. Keeping pace with new products are new and modern facilities, such as Burroughs' new Electronic Components Division plant at Plainfield, New Jersey. This bright, efficient plant is well suited to the manufacture of Burroughs' electronic components and devices, which are sold commercially. This Burroughs division was the first to offer thin film memory planes to the commercial market. It also produces the unique built-in-place components, or BIPCO units. Other familiar products are Burroughs Nixie indicator tubes, used in many counting and numerical display devices. And BMX tubes, circuits and modules used in electronic switching devices. Landmarks of business in Detroit's new center area will soon be joined by a fresh and shining neighbor. The five-story Curtis Building has been leased by Burroughs. Following renovation, the building will house executive offices of Burroughs E&S Marketing Division, the Detroit District Sales Office, Detroit offices of the Todd Division, and the Burroughs Education Department. Ground floor of the new building will be devoted to a hall of products featuring an electronic data processing center and a permanent exhibit of products from the corporation's various divisions. A new member of the Burroughs family is Burroughs Michigan Laboratories in Ann Arbor and Dexter, Michigan. This was formerly the Strand Engineering Company. It has developed display consoles and visual devices for use with Burroughs D825 computers in the Air Force Buick Air Defense System. Burroughs Michigan Laboratories currently has under development a broad range of data display equipment and systems. This equipment is able to translate electronic signals from computers and other sources into readable form such as maps, charts, or business records, and to display this information in a form similar to a television picture. At Burroughs Central Laboratories in Paoli, Pennsylvania, research continues in a number of areas important to the company's future. Experiments are in progress in the use of lasers, artificially created sources of extremely concentrated and powerful light. The computers of tomorrow will utilize components of such microscopic size and of such extreme precision that entirely new techniques must be developed for their successful manufacture and testing. The laser is expected to make valuable contributions in this technical area. New techniques are being perfected in the realm of cryogenics, the use of extremely low temperatures to control the electrical behavior of various materials. Miniaturized components are tested at temperatures approaching absolute zero. Work continues in the fabrication of new devices involving magnetic thin film deposition. Within a vacuum chamber, various materials are vaporized and deposited in precise patterns on glass slides. Thin 
film memories were a result of this work, making possible greatly increased computer speeds for special purpose systems. In the development stage is a high-density thin film memory for use in future generations of Burroughs computers. This will increase the working memory capacity of these computers and permit even more efficient operation. Thin film techniques hold great promise for the future. Thin film memories and thin film amplifying devices will mean that future computers can be smaller, more efficient, less costly, finding more extensive application and having a more profound effect on our daily lives. A recent product of Burroughs Laboratories is the D210 computer. This computer utilizes a unique logic design and miniaturized components. It weighs less than 20 pounds and requires less power to operate than an ordinary household light bulb. It is highly resistant to radiation, and this, coupled with its compactness, light weight, and low power requirements, make it well suited for operation deep in space. New products are being complemented by new marketing campaigns. Highballing on American highways this year is the Burroughs Data Van, a specially equipped giant van carrying a complete B200 data processing system to selected Burroughs branch offices across the country. First stop, Dallas, Texas. The curtain opens for a full week of public and private demonstrations for Dallas business and government organizations. Invited guests include management consultants, accountants, insurance executives, hospital administrators, and other members of the business community and the data processing industry. Local Burroughs representatives work hard to make the data van's visit a solid success. The B200 works hard too, putting in more than 16 hours a day for seminars, public showings, and sessions for debugging computer programs written by Southwest business firms that have already negotiated contracts with Burroughs for similar systems. There's no doubt that the data van carries with it convincing evidence of Burroughs' superiority in data processing. Soon the data van is on the road again, heading toward its next stop on a six-month, 12,000-mile tour that will take it to Burroughs' sales offices in major cities across the nation. Data van, symbol of the action and progress in marketing, in new products, in research and development that marked 1963 as a big year for the Big B. The B270 central processor and two multiple tape listers. Input to the B270 system is provided by the sorter reader. Checks are sorted and the magnetically encoded check information transmitted to the central processor and listers at speeds of 1,560 items per minute.
Since the Burroughs sorter was first installed three years ago, it has been the standard for the industry by which all other sorters are measured. System output for the B270 is furnished by these 12 listing tapes, here routed high above the listers, dramatically demonstrating the speed of printing. The master tape and pocket-by-pocket -pocket listings print out at 1,600 lines per minute, faster than the eye can follow. High-volume clearings can easily be sorted and listed on the first pass. This quick-kill capability makes the 270 the pace setter for the industry. As Burroughs representative Jim Costello explains to NABAC delegates, all components of the B270 are designed to operate harmoniously together as a total system. Work flows through the system at top speed, controlled by the speed of the sorter, not the lister. The interest of bankers and their wives in the B270 is notably large. The Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond joins the Federal Reserve Banks of Minneapolis, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Los Angeles, the First National Bank of Atlanta, the Trust Company of Georgia, the First New Haven National Bank, and the First National Bank of San Jose, California in 270 installations. In all cases, the B270 proves daily to be banking's most productive and lowest cost computer. One of four new solid state electronic data processing systems in the B200 series. Banking's favorite computer by Burroughs Corporation. is Sensomatic with Tape Punch, a combination accounting and coding machine which produces two kinds of records simultaneously. One record is in letters and numbers on conventional accounting forms. The other is automatically punched in paper tape in the code of tabulating card systems. The tape eliminates the need for manually punching cards, provides for the automatic transfer of information from standard accounting machinery to punched card equipment.